The Ernest Edward Green House is a historic residence in Cullman, Alabama. The house was built in 1913 by Ernest Edward Green, the superintendent of Southern Cotton Oil Company. After Green's death in 1922, the house was passed and to several more owners, including John George Lubin Sr., who lived in the house for 34 years. The two-story house is built in neoclassical style, and has a side gable roof with two interior chimneys. The three-bay façade features a double-height portico, supported by two ionic columns. The corners of the house have matching ionic capitaled pilasters. A one-story, hip-roofed porch supported by ten Tuscan columns wraps around the front of the house and halfway down each side. The front door has one large pane of glass, as well as a transom and sidelights. A similar door leads from the second-floor hall to the deck above. The door and portico are flanked on the first floor by 40 over 1 sash windows on the ground floor, while the second floor features 35 over 1 sashes. The side elevations have 25 over 1 sashes, with 20 over 1 and 10 over 1 windows on the rear. There are rounded 25 over 1 windows in the attic level gable ends. The interior is laid out in a center hall plan, with two rooms on either side of a main hall. A dining room, living room, kitchen, and study are on the main floor, with three bedrooms and a sitting room on the second. The house was listed on the Alabama Register of Landmarks and Heritage in 1986 and the National Register of Historic Places in 1993.